Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Town of Light. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, the cam on. Um, yeah, I think we're going to probably have the shit scared out of us in this episode. I thought, what the hell? You know what? Let's get my reaction on cam. Um, before we start this episode, let's do the uh, the whole uh, thumbs up for face cam kind of thing. He doesn't want to. Not Charlotte. Really? So, uh, the last episode it was kind of just like a review, getting to know the gameplay and all that kind of stuff, and finding our creepy ass Those doll. Those lamps might make the room warmer, but Charlotte's uncomfortable. She doesn't feel well. Uh oh. So we gotta get some medicine? Maybe saw our dolly in half? Who knows? Uh, let's see. Stick needles in her back? And a feather or a worm or whatever the hell that is? Holy crap. This is some messed up shit, man. Okay. Hmm. Charlotte is cold. Let's find her a warm place. Well, I'm as warm as I can get. I don't know what else to do. Charlotte is sick. So we gotta go find something. Alright, let's head back downstairs. Uh, we went in that room. That one's locked. This is the ambulatory room. The lights are busted. This ain't good, guys. Maybe we missed something. Oh wow, that's messed up. Look at that. Look at it. Mm hmm. Oh, there we go. Can I not give her some? Looking for something in particular. Frustrato fluidado fluido di grandelia. I don't know what that means. I'd like to pick up the keys. Can we not open the door? I wish she put that damn doll down. I can't see what's going on. Apparently nothing. Okay, we can pick up those. We can pick up those. Apparently I can't do anything in there. Okay, I think we need to find a first aid kit. That would be my guess. There's got to be one somewhere. That has something. Maybe we can hook her up to shock therapy. Let's hook up all these. And do a bit of that. And that's not nothing. That's nothing. Okay. Apparently that does nothing. Let's see. So see like the Oh, can we hit those? Just take a couple steps back. Nothing. Not a dang thing. Nope. So what are we missing here? Why isn't this working? Nothing. This is not a good place for Charlotte. She'll be cold here. Well, can I drag it? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. And for Luigi. I don't see anything here. Charlotte, tell me what you want, and I'll get it. I promise you. Nice view, that's for damn sure. As you can see, they've updated beta. Uh, it's only been two days since I last played. Okay, they're already in here. Nothing in here, nothing in there. I might have to go back downstairs. I can't get in there. And, uh, shoot, let's see. Of course not. And He'll get angry. He'll certainly get angry. Who's he? Oh shit. What the fuck? What if I just stand here for a minute? Touch her to the lights. Charlotte, go to the lights. I don't see anywhere that we can put anything. Okay, we're gonna go back downstairs, take a peek, because I think there was a, uh, down now I'm gonna go against my best judgment oh and we're gonna use the elevator just cuz you know why not oh for crying out loud that's pretty specific though oh the crap we're gonna die we are gonna die we are seriously gonna die Charlotte I love you it was nice knowing you I'll see you in the afterlife it's very cool though, the details on this, like look at the, the pores on her hand with the dirt in it, her fingernails are all cracked up and stuff. I didn't die. That's uh, very surprising. Okay, we're gonna try these doors here. He'll get angry. He'll certainly get angry. And we can't go out that one. Now I'm kind of worried about heal. Like, who is he? What is he gonna do? Is he gonna hurt me? Is he gonna hurt Charlotte? Who's he gonna hurt? If they're gonna hurt us. I thought I already opened all these doors and stuff. Okay, here's a. Uh, we can't even open it. Dang it. I think that's the one I was referring to before. See if we can go down this hallway. He doesn't want to. No, in the town of light, he doesn't want to. Charlotte is cold. Let's find her a warm place. Okay. The only thing I got for the warm place was the uh, the lighted room upstairs. There's nothing in here. So, what I'll do, I'll head back up. I can't even throw my dolly on the ground. It's kind of annoying. Alright, let's go back upstairs take the stairs this time so they've updated the game I haven't actually read the patch notes to find out what they updated um, probably just a few bug fixes as far as I would suggest but uh, this is not a good place for Charlotte she'll be cold here well god damn it where am I supposed to put her I can't drag anything So this is kind of messed up. There's got to be something that we can put her in. Can't, uh, can't grab that. Can I grab her a house coat? Come on, get that out of the way. One of these, or whatever the hell it is, a sheet. And I can't grab anything in there. This is all unable to be picked up or touched. This is all stuff we've touched before. I can't do anything there. Okay, what I'll do, I'll um, go off camera in this room here. I'll let it stand. I'll stand under the light and see if uh, anything happens. If not, I'll wander around. I'll keep the camera rolling until uh, something happens. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so um, 
I've been wandering around and I'm just kind of looking at the uh, the book here. I didn't realize you can flip through the pages. And I thought maybe there might be something in here, but this is some t really twisted medical surgeries that they're doing here. Like, I don't know what Italian is, but, or I know what Italian is, but I don't know what the meanings of the Italian words are on this. Um, but they're like doing cleft surgery or something. This is really messed up, man. Let's see if they have anything back here. Like the whole folding of the face and everything like that is really, really twisted. Okay, so we can't go any further back. Uh, I tried standing under that light there for a couple of minutes. Uh, nothing has happened as of yet. So I will continue walking around until we can find something that we can do. And uh, hopefully it's sooner rather than later because uh, it's a little weird. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm down here and... Um, it's warm in the sun, that's true. It'll turn cold in the evening. That's not good for Charlotte. So... The sun isn't a good idea. The lights aren't a good idea. And the only other thing I can think of is a fireplace. <laughs> and I don't think she wants me or he won't want me to throw her in the fireplace. So let's see if we can go uh, any further around here. Doesn't look like it. No. I'll try these doors over here, see what we can find. Nope, nothing there. So Charlotte is upset with the way we do things around here. Apparently she's not uh, a happy camper with the way we do. And this is back to the way we came in. Okay, so I'm going to have to continue hunting around. I'm, I apologize for the cuts back and forth here, guys, but um, I'm a little stumped. I'm finding more and more things out as I move around, but I'll continue to keep the camera rolling, and potentially we will find something. Um, I'm sure it's just something in one of the rooms where you could, uh, you know, put her in a little basket or, you know, keep her somewhat warm, I guess. And, uh, I don't know what that room would be. Just shove her in a closet and leave her there. We already looked at that. Nope. Nothing. Yeah, we looked at that. And nothing here. There's gotta be something that we can do. Okay, again, yeah, I'll go off camera, I'll continue hunting around, and uh, hopefully I'll find something or some place that I can put Charlotte that she's going to be content with. Because you definitely don't want to piss off a creepy doll. That's one thing I've learned from watching years of horror movies. Never piss off the doll. Ever. Because I swear to God that shit will come back to haunt you. Why can't I go in there? Apparently it doesn't want me to. Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec. This is a comfortable place for Charlotte. Of course it is. But it's, it's cold. Fucking creepy. No, no. Creepy. It's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. My god. Creepy ass doll in a creepy ass wheelchair. And of course, we're gonna push her around. I'm uh, just gonna push my dolly around. Honest to god, guys. Like, I know there hasn't been any jump scares or anything like that, but this definitely embraces the art of creepy. Uh, one, you're in an insane asylum. Two, you're pushing a fucking doll around in a wheelchair. Oh, close the door. So now I know what we gotta do. We gotta take her ass upstairs. And uh, put her under the lights. Yeah. This isn't gonna be good. I still don't have any hands. Oh, look at the wheel. This 
kind of spinning away on its own. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. <coughs> Sorry, guys, just had to sneeze there for a sec. Uh, let's go over this way here, back to that creepy room with the, the hot lights and stuff. Wow. Okay, I was going to say, what, can I not go in here now? Come on, Charlotte, my beautiful, pretty dolly. The cold goes away, you see? Wow. The light. Warm. <laughs> we can do it. The cold goes away. It's not forbidden. Ugh. <sighs> Now we can go to that ward where everything started. Oh shit! Yeah, let's receive a little bit of help. In the observation ward on the ground floor. Okay, so we leave our creepy ass doll here. Okay, well, Charlotte, you uh, you be safe. You know, don't touch strangers and all that kind of fun stuff. We'll head downstairs, and I believe it's the door off to the right. Definitely want to get that going here, and uh, you know what? I'm shutting the front freaking door. No bad shit going on in here. Not like it's gonna keep me safe or anything, but yeah, just random noises. As you know, that's awesome. Okay, so it's not this door. So it have to be this door, but it doesn't have to be, but it should be. Oh, damn. So are we going back to when it... Yeah. We're going back to when it was... Uh, creepy as hell. And semi-new. So I can't... Uh, I can't move side to side. The doors are just gonna do their thing. Uh... Do I have a choice? Whoa, talk about a weird POV. Wow. That's so cool. And there we go. Very nicely done. Very nicely done, IKT. Now I understand why nobody leaves these places. Oh wow. Intriguing. So we're in like a bed board. More stuff up there. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. I really can see this not ending well, man. But they've done an excellent job uh, with the atmosphere. One day I turned off the light, but it didn't go dark. It was a limitless immensity, a blinding, merciless light. I was 16, and I was afraid, always afraid, a fear that wore me down. I needed help, but I could not speak. Everything terrified me even thinking yeah no shit they said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away where I would get better I stopped living in there they dragged me away and tore off all of my clothes every last stitch I tried to explain what was going on in my head they tied me to the bed for days alone with my nightmares it wasn't fear anymore it was madness I agree and when you're mad you cease to exist yeah holy shit balls Oh boy, guys, this is definitely not going to end well for me or for her. Oh, 
Who the hell are you? Can I not get out of bed? Holy she shit, that's creepy. I only hope in this hell. I was falling down amongst the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. I don't know how. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me if she turned to me and looked at me like that. Oh man, I'm in a bed now. And it's nighttime. We are so screwed. You know what? Just sleep the night away. Let's just wait till morning and we'll do the rest of the exploration. Because, uh, I'm not dealing with this shit. Seriously, close the goddamn door. All the way. All of it. You too. Yes, I feel safe now. You go too. Oh no. And you go too. There. Okay, now that we're safe in this nice little tidy tiny room, I'm gonna call it here. Because you know what's gonna happen. Jump scares are gonna start. It's freaking nighttime out there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow. And if you do want to see videos every single day, be sure to hit the sub button too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.